Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. How's everyone doing? Please help me out and give me a comment, a like, or a share, or all three. That would be great. Um, know that this video will be uploaded to YouTube um, just as soon as I can get it done. And um, if you would like a notice of when that is uploaded, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel at Jackie Bloom. So, I finally got this absolutely adorable, this is the one I had to have in the catalog, well, one of a couple. <laughs> and um, I just love all these little guys, or girls. I love all these penguins. So it's a stamp and thin cut, the one that I got. And it is Z3917. Lots of good stuff in there. Set that up there. Um, one thing, if you do want this stamp set after you see all the all the cards that I made with it, um, please get it soon. A lot of consultants are ordering them, which means a lot of customers will be ordering them. Alrighty. So let's see some artwork and what I did. Okay. So, as I go through, I'm going to kind of show you in the catalog because my paper packets are looking kind of like this. A piece here and a piece there and not much to show you. <laughs> so, I'll be relying on the catalogs um, to help me out. So, this is one stamp set that is available online. And it is, You Make Cold Days Warm. That's the little sentiment that I used. Um, on the first card that I'm going to show you. So if you like this one, it's Z3903. Remember, if it starts with a Z, it's got the thin cuts with it, and you can see that there's the colored um, picture here. That means there's thin cuts, and it says stamp and thin cuts. But know that you can just get the stamp set if you would like. So just a little FYI, okay? So I will set that aside. I have a pile and a half. The other thing that I used on this first card is, and I'll get up here so you can see it. Good morning, Linda. Is True Blue Shades and the Waterfall Stickles. Okay. And I'm going to have to, like I said, I am going to have a pile and a half. Okay. So here is the card that I made. And, hold on. Put that down and the paper pack that, that I used I used some sage green the white and black dots and that stamp set I told you about the penguin of course there's the stickles I'll hold it up in just a second and I used the lovely paper packet which is this one right here this is in the core catalog it's good all year which is great and it has a little bit bigger paper pack so Good morning, Peggy. Speak a little closer to the microphone. Okay, let me take my earbuds out and see if that helps. I'm just kind of, oops, there goes all my notes. I'm just kind of trying stuff um, to see what works. Is that any better, Peggy? Get rid of these. Of course, I don't have them in the right slot. Oh my goodness, really? Oh my goodness, come on. Oi. Okay, I don't know where that one went. It can stay down there. Is that any better, Peggy? Okay, so here's a little bit more of a close-up. And I just love the colors. And this little penguin reminds me of my daughter. She's always bundled up. She always has layers and layers and layers. And here's another little look at the um, paper pack that I used. And then obviously I used um, black cardstock, a little bit of the sage, and a little bit of our color of the year, bluebell. Oh, and oh, the green marker. Let's see. I used it a couple of times, so it's floating around. The green marker was the light green blend. Okay, I put that back with the other one. All right. So that's the first one. <sighs> like I said, Move everything out of the way now. <laughs> and I'm going to stack those there so that way I can go back and show you. 
All right, the next one I wanted to talk about, I used all of this goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so some itty bitty sparkles, which hopefully you can see those. He's so cute. Oh, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What, Peggy? Um, can you hear me better now? Um, these are the Black Burst Z3875, if you like those. And what I did was I just stuck the little sparkle inside the center of those, which was really cute. The markers I used for this one are Aqua Blue Blend, Light Green Blend, and Citrus Blend. Blend means it's the lighter color. Shades means it's the darker of the two sets that we have right now. Um, this is something new. This is the Thin Cut Penance Z3909. I love these. And um, I used these a couple of times. And I used them a little bit different than what you might expect. So I will show you that. And then the stamp set that's in the core catalog is Z3780 and it's the birthday borders. And I just love this because there's so many good stuff in here and so many thin cuts. But there's happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, wishing you every happiness this special day brings. Oh, you can hear me better now, good. Um, I just love it, it's really cute, okay? And the card I made for that is this little cutie. I'm going to take that off of there because it's distracting. Put it on the back. So, never notice the shade and blend on the markers. Yeah. Yeah, I just noticed that recently, Linda. Okay, so this one, like I said, I put the little itty bitty inside of that little to dress up that package. Kind of draw some, draw some attention to it. Here's that little um, pennant. And this is the paper from the birthday, which is also in the core catalog, which is birthday, birthday, this one here, which again, core catalog, little bit bigger paper pack, and lots of generic or definitely girl or definitely boy. So I love that. Okay, I think that's all I needed to show you on that one. Alrighty. Next up, I can get rid of this whole box. That's good. All right. I'm trying to keep my mess not too much of a sprawl. All righty. The next one, this is a new stamp set. It's the months of the year for February, D1997, which means there's no thin cuts because you don't see the little cover picture or anything. But there's a lot of cute stuff in here. Hey, sugar, will you be mine? <laughs> Remember that from back to school? Oh, my goodness, right? I'm dating myself. Oh, you don't have that paper yet? Oh, you got to have that birthday paper. It's so cute and so versatile. I love it. Okay, so I use that. And then I use, now here's an example of that. So True Blue Blend and Ice Gray Blend are the lighter shades of that one set and the pink pale shades is the darker so these are from this is from one set and this is from the other set okay and wait for it oh my gosh you're gonna love it here is the card set i made oh you just got the january one and having to order yeah i use the february one as well this is so cute i just love it just just love it the coloring was easy. I went back and added um, little cheeks. I saw somebody else had done that. And I wanted to tell you about this one. Oh, where is it? That um, one is from the, oh, Sneak Peek, everybody. This is the March, uh, or no, the February stamp of the month, S2102. So 21 is the year, 02 is the month, February. That's how you do these. And it's just a whole bunch of just cuteness. So this is where I got that little heart trail, if you will, or heart border. And I just love it. So this is a definite one that you want to put down on your list, guys. Because I think you will go to it over and over and over again. And I love, I haven't used this one yet, but I want to. I love how this just drapes over 
the banner. So that'll be really cute. So I'm going to stick that aside because it goes somewhere else. Showed you the markers. Um, that's about it on that one. I just love it. Oh, and this is part of the paper. Oh, show you where the paper is. Hold on. Let's show you where the paper is. So this paper, and this is um, Carolina Blue cardstock. This little paper is from the new special in the um, current mini catalog, which is Perfect Match. So that's where you will find that paper. It's page 45 if you have a catalog. If you don't, let me know and I'll get you one. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. Love these. All right. Next on my list is, again, I use the February stamp of the month, and I use this little piece right here. Hopefully it's up high enough you can see it. That little dot pattern. And from the current catalog, Z3915. It's sending well wishes, and I used You're On My Mind and Hello My Friend for that. And I used... Now these two are from the same packet. There again, dark shade blend. Oh no, that's from the that's from the regular one. And ice gray shades. So blend and shades, lighter, darker. As I go around. Yes, I have been crafty busy. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the card I made using all of that. And I just think they're cute as friends, right? So there's where that stamp is. And there's where that, that other part of the stamp is. And then this is Safari Paper, which is a baby paper, but you wouldn't know it. And this is a mix-ins. So I will show you where that is. So the Safari Paper, believe it or not, <laughs> is right here. So I used this really cute polka dot for that. And then the mix-ins is this one here, and I use this. So you can see this little circle here, and it gives you a little bit more of a close-up of what the papers look like, because sometimes it's really hard to tell. Okay, and this is candy apple, um, cardstock and ink, and black, and white, the daisy white. So there's that one. And next, I told you I did a lot. <laughs> oh, thank you, Linda. Okay, so I used chipped sapphire, and I used um, sapphire ink on this next one. And this is um, some of our metallic markers, um, and I used this silver ingot one, okay? And then the stamp set I used is uh, one we had last month, um, but you can still, I believe you can still get this one online. And it's Z3899, there again, the Z reflects that it's a thin cut and it says it right there. It's elegant snowflakes and I love that there's so many snowflakes in so many sizes for this one. As you can tell I've used it a bit. And that's okay, it's just a little stained means it was used and loved. So, one more item that I used, which might not, um, uh, it might not look like I used it, but this is the large bow, and look at how big this bow is. And I used this piece right here, okay? And the paper I used, and it'll make more sense in a minute, so I'm waiting to show you. Anybody notice that? The paper that I used is not in there. It's in here. So I used part of this silver packet, which has this little star. I'm gonna hold this up a little bit. So I used the one right here that has stars. So this is all a packet of white and silver, and it is so pretty. Thought the snowflake set without the thin cuts by mistake. I hate when that happens, Linda. I know your pain. I feel your pain. So I used that. And then I used, oh, I didn't mark this one. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, here's where the markers are. So this is the um, 
precious metals set that I used. And here's where um, this is the the lighter and this is the darker. The new one is the darker. Actually, it's over here. This is a better representation. So this is the um, blends. And this is the one that says shades. So the lighter set and the darker set. Okay, where was I? <laughs> what was I looking for? Oh, pattern paper. Or this paper. Specialty paper. So I used the holographic, and that is not a good representation. Let me grab my holographic paper. There we go. Okay, hopefully this doesn't freak out anybody's eyes. But it really does change color and have a lot of, of different colors the way you turn it. See how it's like pink there? And yet like there it's blue. So you can see where I took that 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 um, bow dye and I just used that part. Okay. And here's the card I made after all this talking and hooting and hollering. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> and this is one that's similar to the catalog, in the catalog, there's my penguins, penguins, so here's my penguins, and it was this one right here that I was trying to do, okay, and here's my card, I love the little skater guy, so there's that silver paper, and I used, like I said, that distressing oxide ink and I did use a lighter one but then I covered it up so you can't even see it so there's no point in telling you but it would have looked a little bit more like the picture here <laughs> and I added some itty bitty sparkles and some of those snowflakes I just used the baby ones and I thought it just came out so cute a little bit of um, uh, silver um, silver s stickles boy I can't say that word today and here's where that um, that silver ingot metallic marker is. Oh, I need to add some cheeks on him. So there's that one. Get that all out of the way. And last but not least is one that I'm actually going to show you something. So this is the Bis Bisque Liquid Pearls. And I love these. And then I used on this card the Molt... I can't say that word. Somebody say it for me. Muted, brown, molted, molded, I can't say that word, and gold, yellow blend. So these are the lighter ones. And that might, that's the lightest shade. That's the darker shade. I don't know if you guys knew that. Because they're, they're um, markers that are light, medium, and dark. But if you look at this side, it shows you the light, and this side, it shows you the darker. So isn't that cool? So depending on <laughs> where you're looking in your box, they look really different. I mean, look at that shade difference and then a medium in between. Yes, you do need the oxide inks. I love the oxide inks. Okay, so what I used for this one is the um, January stamp of the month, S2101. It's just a ton of things. I really love it. It's cute. And then I used Z3911, which is Happiness Lives Here. It coordinates with the Happiness Paper Packet. And But I didn't use the Happiness Paper Packet. I used the mix-ins again. Right here. And I used this one, which you can't really see that there's... I mean, you can see there's a floral. And I used this dot. But it's so much different in person. So here's the card I made. I think he's my favorite. I need a piece of that. I want to, there's a little bit of uh, gold gems. So the thank you that had the thin cut. The thank you from the stamp of the month set. But see this background? It looks a lot more inviting, doesn't it? Oh, and here's this little border piece. And that is on this stamp right here love that and what I wanted to show you is this is where I use the bisque right up here on the glasses so what it looked like before 
was like this, okay? And I'm gonna try and hold this. This is gonna be interesting, guys. I'm gonna try and hold this so you can see what I did. Okay, forgive me if my lines aren't as straight as on the other one, but I just got it going. Here it comes. And I just went over those lines. I'm a little wiggly. And then, not too bad though. You've got to set that somewhere to dry. And it'll take a little while depending on how thick you do it. Okay? And I was trying to figure out where his bow, uh, where his little cheeks would be. That's why I haven't done this one. Hey, hey Lori, how are you? Um, you'll have to go back and watch the replay. I just put his his little glasses on. So I love that you can feel it, but it's flat. I love just the character that it gives and how you can blend it in with everything. It is just too cute. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you all of the cards that I made with this stamp set. Get it soon. Like I said, lots of close to my harders are getting um, this stamp set since they've seen what I did and, you know, other people too, not just me. Um, there you go. And I will tell you that this one is going to be a senior card class. So my senior card class, ladies. We will be doing this one for January, the third uh, Monday of the month. And for box card class, which if you don't know what that is, it's, let me move these a little bit. It's this box that I, um, I didn't come up with, but another fellow consultant did. And I'll put pictures of these down below so you can see them. And it it's a, it's a monthly class and you can start this box at any time any any time this year and it's just goes through and it has you know the january through december it's got this little sheet so you can write down birthdays or anniversaries or whatever you want to write it's got some extra so if you want to hide some stuff you can it's got flip flaps that are optional that you can take out and put in new ones of these if you want and because it's a flip flap you could dry eraser mark on here and check them off as you go through your month and do stuff and the first class, the two cards that we did at Open House, after Open House, was this one and this one. And then I do have a couple of cards to show you. So if you want to do this class, every month I will be doing four cards. And you can pick and choose which month you want to do um, those cards if you'd like to do them. So in February I'll have a set of four. You can't go back in March and do February's, but in February you can say yes or no. But you need to start off with a qualifying order, which is buys your box and um, pays for all of all of this that I have to do on the on the Cricut, and um, then the flip flaps are optional. But if you don't want the box and you still want to do it, then a qualifying order of twenty five dollars one time will get you started, and then you can do the cards uh, going forward and here's two of the cards that I will be doing this month the group um, kind of gets to have some input so they said they needed a sympathy card that they kind of like to be pretty much white and this is the card that I came up with hope you can see that really good well thank you Linda and this is the other one that I did Again, I'm using that Happy Border uh, birthday one from the Core Catalog. And these are from the Perfect Match. They're the little, they're almost like, uh, almost like a, a, a hard felty kind of. They have a little bit of depth to them. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and and they're, they're cool. They're, they're nice as shaker bits too. And then I double did a, an arrow so it would be a little bit thicker. So these are two of the four cards that we'll be doing. And again, senior card class, here's the first card that we'll be doing of four. So I hope 
that you enjoyed this class today. Here's all the goodies. And I hope you have fun with this set. And give me a comment. Give me a like. Give me a share. Help me out. I'd appreciate it. Um, you can, like I said, you can um, subscribe to my YouTube channel um, if you're not on Facebook. And then you can see them there, which you wouldn't. Yeah, if you're not on Facebook and you're watching it on, on uh, YouTube, then um, subscribe. Help me out. Thanks a lot. I hope you have a great Friday, a great weekend, and um, don't get too discouraged that it's already January 15th. Where did the two weeks go? I don't know. But I've had a lot of fun, and I hope you do too. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.